MLPs are really a growing field. The reason is they offer very nice distributions, and especially in a low interest rate environment, these are really growing in popularity. In the past, or investors would really look at utilities for this investment, but with MLPs offering 6% up um, of distribution yields, it's really growing uh, in popularity. If you look at Energy Transfer Partners and Enbridge Energy Partners, for example, they offer 7.8% and 7.4% annualized yields. So they, are a, they offer great yields, but how much would I put in an IRA? And the answer to that question would be as little as possible. The reason is IRAs already offer a tax break, and MLPs in their very nature do the, ver do the same. They basically are a return of capital. They skip the corporate taxation, so they're usually not taxed until sold, very similar to what the IRA does. You don't, you're not actually taxed until you reach retirement and sell. The second issue you want to look at is what they call a UBTI, which is an unrelated business taxable income. This is rarely a problem especially if you're investing under the IRS limit. Uh, usually it affects larger, larger unit holders. Um, basically the IRA, uh, it, you have to pay tax on income that's not related to purposes of the IRA, which is tax exemption and basically putting away till retirement. MLPs are like owning a business, so the return of capital is like uh, getting income from an employer where since it's not part of your retirement per se uh, through the rules, you can be taxed on it. And this can be a complicated issue, so you have to be worried about this. Uh, there is one, a $1,000 yearly deductible, so if you are putting under the IRS limit, you probably don't have to worry about this, but if you do have large holdings, this could be an issue. So you can put your money up to the IRS limit in MLPs um, if you're, if you're going to be under that limit, or you can look into MLP-focused ETFs and mutual funds. There's also another way you can invest in this space, and that's uh, looking at some of the MLP uh, companies like Kenner Morgan Management and Enbridge Energy Management, where they're very similar. They offer the same yields as Kenner Morgan Partners and and Enbridge Energy Partners, but instead of paying you cash distributions, they pay you in shares so you don't have to worry about the, the, the UBTI tax. Uh, my advice is really open up another brokerage account and invest in the MLPs because you're already getting that tax shelter so you don't have to put it in the IRA or look into the KMR or EEQ which is the Kinder Morgan Management and Enbridge Energy Management or you can even look into other utilities like Exelon that also offers a very nice dividend yield of 6.8%. If you have no other issue or no other options, really look into um, uh, these, those options there, or you can look into just putting your investments in an IRA. It's perfectly illegal to do so. You just have to really be focused on that UBTI tax because if you do uh, exceed that limit, it can be a hassle and you have to find a tax professional to really look into the issue. I'm Joel South. Thanks a lot and fool on.